number three of the 2008 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series from Barry Speedway is brought to you by Castrol Syntec. Unlock the power. By Mopar. Authentic performance. And by Duplicolor, the premier brand leader in automotive paints, primers, and coatings. Well, Scott Stackley leads the field back to green here on lap number 30 of the A&W 300. Oh! Hard contact down into turn one. You saw fiberglass flying as Jason White, the AW21, got into the back wheel of the home hardware Chevy of Don Thompson Jr. No caution, but heavy damage to that 21 car. Well, look for debris off the front of that car. That fender is hung right in there by the tire. It certainly won't take much for it to come off. Well, Jason White was racing hard to try and get back on the lead lap. The first car, a lap down. Of course, Alex Tagliani received the tow truck in a box free pass during that caution period. Well, everybody on the outside, and the outside's not the fast way around here, but you got to get that car to handle up top. Oh, a big chain reaction coming off a of turn two. And this is what can happen on a tight track such as Barry Speedway. John Gunn, Jason Hathaway, you see the 10 of Doug Brown, but well, the most damage to the 12 of John Gunn Hathaway with the nose completely sheared off that snap-on tools dodge. Well, we got the left front locked up. It's sitting up on the nose, just sliding down the front stretch. All kinds of structure damage. I don't see any fluid coming out, though. As we go on board the 39 of Dave Whitlock. Why, well, you see somebody gets in the left rear corner of the, of the Whitlock car, turns them around, and just stacks up to 12 and the 3. So Jason Hathaway with damage, Todd's in his pit. Todd? Extensive body damage to that number three Snap-on Tools car. You can see the reciprocating saw going to work. It won't be the last time we'll, we'll see this tonight here at Barry Speedway, guys, as the body gets pulled off the number three of Jason Hathaway. So work continues. Big crowd on hand here tonight. Let's take a moment with Todd for tonight's Wheeland Insider. One of the great time and money savers for race teams is a car wrap. Now, all of the graphics and colors on this 0-2 car for Kerry Mix used to have to be done in stages. Beyond Digital Imaging has provided car wraps, which really saves a lot of time. In fact, the entire car can be done in about seven hours. Another benefit to race teams, if you're involved in a collision, BDI provides perimeter repair kits. You don't even have to take the body panels off the cars. Smooth out the surface, clean it up, and then the next wrap goes on to cover only the affected area. It's great for one-race sponsorships and much more. It's a great way to maximize shop time and save money. That's for sure. And BDI also wraps the Walmart cars of Tagliani and Andrew Ranger. And those cars will look real sharp. Restart here on lap number 42. It's the second restart of the evening. Scott Steckley leads them out of four. Hits that restart line. Green flag waves so we're back underway. Thompson gets a real good jump that time. He's going to hang in there on the outside because he has yet to gain his five points for leading the lap here at Barry. Thompson strong on the high side. You see that body damage from the last restart involved with Jason White. Now he's going to Hang it on the outside. He'll lead that lap. Pick up five bonus points. And Chevrolet to the front. Young J.R. Fitzpatrick, first race in a Dodge. And his teammate, a Chevrolet, is leading here at Barry. Well, you got to think Don Thompson Jr. has a lot of laps out front in recent years in the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. Even back into the Cascar Series, Thompson has led a lot here at Barry Speedway. Well, he is seven-time champion of the old Cascar division, Dave. His teammate, J.R. Fitzpatrick, currently sitting in the 11th spot. Good luck at Scott Steckley trying to put a move on the four of Don Thompson Jr. as Mark Dilley hangs in third, not too far behind. What a great shot. You see that 22 of Steckley as he powers down the straightaway and he drops onto the brake pedal. The nose comes right down and seals off against the asphalt. How about Anthony Simone in that 95 car, the crown modular Monte Carlo, doing a wonderful job in his first time here at Barry Speedway. Never even seen the place before coming here earlier today. Really has it figured out in a hurry. Well, not a surprise to me, Dave. Oh, Fitzpatrick's around on the front stretch. And it looks like the Mopar Dodge are on. Beauchamp Jr. into him as well. And looks like we may have some fluid down on the track. Steam coming from that 60 Dodge of Ron Beauchamp Jr. Oh, the fluid's running all over. The oh, it just spills out the front. There's the 12 car showing extensive damage. Let's have a look here. On board with J.R. Fitzpatrick. Well, he got some help from the 39 of Dave Whitlock. And there is the Mopar Dodger on Beauchamp Jr. Putting it behind the wall as the crew goes to work. Likely a rat needing to be changed on that car, but they will go laps down as the 2008 Dodge Caliber SRT4 pace car is pulled off at seven-time Cascar champion Don Thompson Jr. will lead the field for restart. Number three, green flag waves were packing away. 
Steckley up in that high groove, see if he can make that Mopar Thunder down the back stretch. No, Don Thompson, the preferred lane down the bottom, and here comes Mark Dilly for a look as well. Well, that's the first time the leader who has taken the green has actually led the first lap after a restart. It's been Don Thompson Jr. and Scott Steckley swapping spots in the front of the field, but here comes Mark Dilly for the first time near the front. Well, we talked about Mark Dilly knowing his way around this little speed plant, and he's showing it right now. And we got more smoke from the 39 Dickey Dodge of Dave Woodlock. No spin, but it looks like a motor gone awry on that Dodge of Andrew. Oh, big trouble. Well, Gibbons almost upside down, goes over the front of Simone. Heavy damage to the crown modular 95 of Anthony Simone. Peter Gibbons did Dukes of Hazard style over the front wheel, and there is the 39 of Dave Woodlock stopped on the infield. Well, obviously, Dave Whitlock's lost the motor in that dodge of his, but that really didn't get it all going. Here we go in a replay. Down into turn one. They're all checking up. The 0-2 gets a tap to the 17. That gets him sideways. We're four wide. Peter powers down to the inside. Simone's there, and right over the top he goes. That's exciting stuff. So the 39 Whitlock car is done for the day. A blown motor and heavy damage to the front of the 95. The wheel and safety crew cleans the track. Thompson leads.